Hi, my name is Christoph Reichert from CBR Technology. We are Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central partner in California, headquartered in Orange County with satellite office in San Francisco. Today, I'd like to discuss um, the ability to process cash discount and accounts receivable write-offs um, in Business Central, and obviously this will affect the accounts receivable module. Um, before you dive into the actual system, you need to uh, be aware of a few setup issues, which basically surround just a configuration and setup of the module itself. Uh, the default settings from Microsoft may or may not work for you on this, uh, so you need to make sure you um, review these settings. One of the things that is kind of uh, difficult to grasp initially is just the fact that Microsoft calls uh, these items a little bit differently than what we call them in common uh, US accounting departments. Uh, so what we in accounting departments typically refer to as cash discounts, uh, which is a payment term related discount. So if a client pays more quickly than agreed upon, we offer them a discount as part of this transaction. Um, Microsoft refers to this as a payment discount. Um, then we have the traditional write-off uh, where we are, you know, taking a dollar amount off the invoice and basically in a single transaction issue a credit for the difference so that the client um, is paying us less, but we consider the invoice paid in full nonetheless. Um, in Microsoft, they don't call that a write-off. They call that a payment tolerance. Uh, so payment tolerance and write-offs are the same thing. It's just a matter of using different language for the same accounting transaction. Uh, a lot of this is done in the payment term setup. So I'm going to walk you through a payment term configuration there to see what that looks like. And then I also wanted to show you how you can enable and disable the ability to have a payment tolerance or a write-off on a customer by customer basis, which I think is also critical to uh, to understand from an accounting department's perspective. And then finally, it's going to walk you through a cash receipt um, and show you how you would actually do this during the actual cash receipt screen um, and how that will interface with the general ledger uh, on the tail end of the, uh, of the GL transaction as a result of the cash receipt. So now I've launched my Microsoft Dynamics 365 Business Central client. I'm on a browser. Uh, looking at the Kronos USA company, which I've configured to demo this properly for you. You can review the cash discount capabilities and write-off capabilities. So to start off with, you want to look at the payment terms uh, that you have configured. So when I launch my payment term setup in here, uh, obviously you have to have admin access to get to this part of the system. Um, you'll see that I've added a new term that's not in the Kronos USA company typically, which is a 2% net 10, net 30 combination. Uh, so it typically offers the client, the customer 30 day due dates, uh, due uh, term payment terms, but then if they pay within 10 days, um, they get a 2% cash discount or, or discount. Um, this little checkbox here is referring to the fact if these terms are being selected, if they're also offered on credit memos. Um, so when you do a credit transaction, does it work the other way, which basically deducts it from their terms as well. So that's a, an important setting to also be aware of. Now, in addition to the payment terms, you also have to set up the customer itself, of course. So if I go take a look at my customer configuration in this Kronos USA company, you'll see uh, the Adaptum Corporation that we're all familiar with uh, based on the system. And in the payment section of the system here, you will see a number of options that are, are critical. One is, of course, you have to assign this client, this customer, to these payment terms that we just configured so that these payment terms are active for this particular client. Now, of course, this is just a default. You can still overwrite this on a transaction by transaction basis. So if you have a particular sales invoice for which you do not wish to offer them a 2% discount, you can simply select the regular net 30 on that transaction and override the default, which would be coming from this field, from this customer card. The other setting that's critical here is the ability to block payment um, tolerance. And so again, this is kind of a language um, translation issue. So what Business Central considered a payment tolerance is what we typically in the US refer to as write-offs. So in here, you can enable or disable 
uh, a customer ability to or a user ability in the accounting department to um, to process a write-off for this particular customer. So if I turn this on with simply sliding my uh, my slider here, um, it will block all payment tolerances from being accepted for this client. And then this will, if you have some existing cash receipt records, this will ask you if this change should apply to them, yes or no. You can just do that as you as you like. So I'm going to turn this back on. I just wanted to show you this field here. Uh, as you, how you can control this on a customer to customer basis. Now, in my case here for Adaptum, I posted an invoice. I'm going to look at posted sales invoices for this transaction here, for this client here. And if I look at uh, the one that I just recently did, which was a $1,000 transaction here, just to keep the math simple, uh, you'll see that uh, when I posted the transaction, I made this um, in that new payment term section of 2% net 30. A net 10 net 30 so that this is possibly applying to the payment discount percentage which shows you right here payment discount so it has a payment discount date that the system calculated automatically and it has a, a discount percentage that is visible to you here as well so now um, when you now record the actual cash receipt uh, so that's done in the cash receipt journal of course or uh, if you're doing bank deposits in the deposit screen either way it will function the same way I'm going to pull up the regular cash receipt screen uh, in here and I'm going to record a transaction so I'm using today's date and I'm gonna you know make this a payment obviously from a customer so this is coming in from Adaptum here which I'm gonna select from there and let's say they did a ACH uh, number payment that they paid me with and they paid me only $980 because they short paid by 2% so this is one example but I actually wanted to take this example a little further and show you um, that they actually only paid me $950 so they paid me $50 short of the $1,000 invoice and now when I record and process this doing my cash receipt screen so obviously the offset on this is going to be the bank account so I'm going to put this into my checking account as far as the 950 is concerned but now for the remainder of this is if I just posted this as is nothing would happen because it wouldn't know how to apply it to the invoice and what the computations are so to do the cash receipt correctly and the write-off properly you have to apply this under the process tab of apply entries and you go in here and apply the payment to this particular invoice. Obviously, you would replicate this on a line-by-line -line basis if you had multiple invoices open. So right now, I'm going to just go ahead and say set apply. And then on the, on the side here of the system, you will see that I have the option to see not just the due date, but the payment discount due date, which is up to 7.5. So now I can say, OK, I'm within that time frame and I can write off the $20 here for my payment discount and the system computed this for me automatically so the 2% is being computed automatically and then the rest I'm going to put in here so I'm going to say another $30 I'm going to write off and I'm going to consider this paid in full uh, via these entries so go ahead and hit OK and now that I've told the system what this payment is for and what invoice it's supposed to pay for, I can show you how it's going to reflect this on the GL. So I'm going to do a preview posting on my general ledger. I'll see how it will impact the system before I actually post. And you should be in the habit of doing that just as best practices. So number four, entrance in here, you can see that I have a $950 cash payment. And I have a $1,000 AR adjustment because that's my actual, um, uh, my actual AR balance. And then I have a $30 uh, taller write-off and a $20 cash discount. So um, this is how it's going to affect the GL. And uh, that's what I like to go ahead and post. And when I hit post, that's what's going to happen in the system. Now, when you look at... Uh, at um, the other options in here you'll see that the customer ledger is being affected uh, by you know for this transaction as well and we'll look through that by after i post the actual transaction so i'm going to go ahead and hit post in here are you sure you want to do this yes and here it's now posting the gl i posted it successfully and i'm going back to my customer and look how this affected the transaction the, the client itself and the system so obviously the balance is down to zero at this point and when I go to my ledger entries for this customer, 
I will see um, the invoice for $1,000 here, and then the payment for $950 here. And when I drill down on the details of the payment, I will see with the detailed uh, ledger entries number four here that um, this also included a um, $30 uh, payment tolerance, which you'll see in the description here, and a payment discount as well. Um, the posting account configuration, as far as where you find that, is done in the customer posting group. And that's where you can set up payment tolerance accounts and payment discount accounts as far as debits and credits are concerned. And that's how you can steer and navigate which GL accounts are being affected by these entries. Hope you found this uh, video helpful. Please feel free to reach out to us at 1-855-227-0700. And our team here at CBA Technology will be happy to assist you with your implementation for Business Central. Take care.